Last stream, I asked you guys what is the most tilting thing about this game. We're gonna rank them in tier list. And here's the category. We got extremely tilting, pretty tilting, would tilt me on a bad day. Kind of tilting, but I'm nice today and not tilting at all. I asked for some of your opinions. So thank you to everyone who helped me brainstorm. All right, first one up. I have each notes on this one, okay? When you have to start deleting friends from your friends list because you cap out, please hoyoverse let us have more friends yeah i had to delete friends the other day because i'm capped out on friends okay i had to delete three friends and not me just ending friendships i would say it usually doesn't bother me as much but if i'm in a bad mood it will tilt me a lot so i'm gonna put it here i like how i pulled a chi chi is in there we could do i pulled a chi chi right now this is called rolling chi chi losing our 50 50 and rolling chi chi is like pretty tilting i got very very lucky that I've never rolled a chi-chi and that was like my biggest flex in my account. But then I no longer have the flex because I rolled a chi-chi. What if people don't have chi-chi yet? Like me? Let's keep it that way. I'm happy that you don't have a chi-chi. At least you have a flex. It's not that bad. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You're saying it's not that bad? I'm gonna I'm gonna put chi-chi. If, if this is your first chi-chi, I'm gonna say it's not that tilting, okay? I'm gonna move it down to pretty tilting, depending on who it is you're asking. Sad artifact RNG is when you see an artifact that could have been the one die right in front of your eyes. Artifacts do be dodging crit roll as if it's the matrix. I used to be tilted at artifact RNG, but now I'm so used to it that I feel no emotion. Damn. Okay, based on what you said, honestly, same though. Like, I'm not even phased by our bad RNG anymore because it's like, I expect Genshin have bad RNG. So like, I had no expectations from the beginning. Is that really getting tilted though? Bad RNG is part of what makes the game playable. If no RNG, everybody would clap. The game will be boring and dead. That's true. We're so used to a really bad RNG now that we kind of just accept it as part of the game. So I would say not tilting. Okay, how about this one, guys? Lieben rerun. When Lieben is straight, one of the best NPC that exists in this game. The man is so giga chat that he just he doesn't say anything. He just give us free sh and leaves. Why is he even on this list? No, no, no. Lieben does not tilt me. It's the fact that Lieben has no rerun tilts me. Let's 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 get that clear. The thing about Lieben is that like if I'm not thinking about it, then it doesn't tilt me. So I'm gonna say that it's kind of tilting, but I'm nice today. All right, next one. Aranera. I don't need to explain anything else other than Aranera. And you know what's crazy? Controversial opinion, okay? Some people might see Aranera as extremely tilting. Aranera could suck it. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, the quest, I know everybody complains about the quest, the quest is actually not that bad. It's the fact that like after you finish the quest, you have to find every single Aranera that exists on the map and we can't find them. And for that, I'm gonna say pretty tilting. It gives me a headache, I legit read everything and try to pay attention, I can't. It tilts me so hard, I love those little- Honestly, reading couldn't be me, but I respect it. If you read the Aranera quest, I really respect it. Okay, next one. Someone- <laughs> Someone said, someone legit said, Ito's face, personality, and existence. Listen, I just jotted a note from you guys. I personally really like Ito, okay? <laughs> Who said that? I'm not gonna say who said that, but someone legit said that. I'm crying, bro. So that's why it's on the list for me. Not tilting. Okay, not tilting. Not the disrespect. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Tell me more. Okay, next one. Some of you guys also said this. Climbing. Climbing actually doesn't tilt me that much. If I only got 10 minutes to play Genshin, it might tilt me a little bit. But like, if I'm just playing Genshin, sitting down playing Genshin Genshin, then it doesn't really tilt me. Just get Kirara. That's the power move right there. Okay, climbing is fine. It's when your stamina is scuffed and you fall to your death and have to start over. That's true. I would say this. If I fell to death due to having really low stamina, I would be pretty tilted on a bad day. But honestly, it doesn't irk me that much. Good spot. Okay, thank you. All right, next one. Some of you guys said this. Non-skippable dialogues. I like reading and listening to dialogue. Okay, the thing is, it's like the art conquest is not so bad, okay? Because like there's actually voice acting involved. Um, It's the world quest that's just like silent and like <laughs> you're reading and like if you want to know what's going on you actually have to read it <laughs> and that kills me inside <laughs> okay. i feel like
like for world quests, it would be nice to have skippable dialogues, you know? All right, next one, y'all, next one. Oh, this one. This is mine, okay? Here's the thing. When Inazuma puzzle makes you feel dumb, Sumero puzzle makes you feel even dumber. Not because it's harder, but because we've been PTSD'd by Inazuma puzzles. Still PTSD from Sumero and Inazuma puzzles. That Fontaine puzzles makes us even feel dumber because they're easy. I'm crying, yo. I wouldn't say same level as Aranera. The puzzles are alright. Inazuma puzzles are really annoying. I would say Inazuma puzzles are like, it would tilt me on a bad day. I'm down for that. Do we agree on this? I kind of agree on this. All right, next one. Not much explanation needed here. What if you guys told me consecrated beast and abyss? But the thing is, is like, I don't do abyss. Abyss doesn't really exist in my reality. So like, you guys have to let me know how tilting it is. After learning attack patterns, I just don't tilt over them anymore. Okay, I guess it's not tilting. All right, next one. Sumeru World Quest. Honestly, the Sumeru World Quest, like, yes, it was kind of long, but I didn't mind it. You know, looking back, if you do it kind of slow, it's it's not bad. I would say not tilting. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got one that could tilt you. I had the exact combo. I screenshotted this because it was so effing funny, bro. You know what this person said? Okay, mushroom jumping daily. This is this is what you guys have said, okay? I did the mushroom daily and I landed in the center of three mushrooms, so I missed. And um, this extremely tilting. Imagine this. You know how you have to jump five mushroom consecutively, right? And you're on the fourth one. You're about to make your fifth jump. You're having that leap of faith, okay? And you're like, well, I'm gonna be very calculated and go into the, the mushroom that has three mushrooms next to each other, so there's absolutely no way I could miss. Then you land on the center. You don't bounce and you miss. Now you gotta start over. Okay, next one. Genshin Anniversary gift. Can I really say it tilts me? If you asked me two years ago about Genshin Anniversary gift, I would have been like, yeah. But now, if they give us something, i am be like, I'm extremely grateful. I don't know. What do you guys think? I joined Genshin on the anniversary because my friends were so annoyed that I decided to try the game out and now, two years later, you can't get off the game. True. Never expected a free five star. It was pure silliness to expect that. True. I would say not tilting. Yellow, like kind of tilting, but I'm not. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Right here, right here. All right, next one, y'all. Next one. You're you're thinking like that one extra boss run, and you're thinking, what do I mean? Here's what I'm gonna tell you what what this represents, okay? You're at that last boss run. You're like, wow. If I got lucky, I don't need to use any more resin. I'm done. I am done leveling this character. But then you ended up getting two, and then now you need to do one more run. <laughs> Put that way up, top two for sure. Would you say the extra boss run is more tilting than the skippable Genshin dialogue and the mushroom like would you say it's here or would you say it's here okay here, here's what i'm saying i'm gonna say the mushroom is number one tilting especially if you miss the center i'm gonna say that one extra boss run non skippable dialogues they're bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay okay all right next one i'm just i'm just making people angry today oh my goodness <laughs> let me explain Understanding that characters might go through the Dia treatment. It's the fact that Dia had the Dia treatment. Now that we have a understanding that future potential characters could get the Dia treatment. And that gives me anxiety, bro. Guys, you guys know that like, I really, really want to pull for Risley because the man is beautiful, okay? I'm so scared he's gonna get the Dia treatment. Here, here, here's what I vote. I'm gonna say it's pretty tilting, but it's not the most tilting thing. It's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world, but now I'm extremely anxious. Basically, they make the character bad so it could be placed on the standard banner. I mean, I don't think that's true because Tenari is actually a pretty good character, right? It depends on how you play the game, but if you're a meta player and your favorite character gets the Dia treatment, it will be tilting. But if you're just a casual player, it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll say, we'll say it depends on the player. I would say it will tilt me on a bad day. All right, next one, bro. This is from one of you guys. Who, who, know, who here knows what this means? I'm testing your mental gymnastics. Who understand what this means? Isn't there one commission where you have to fix a bridge or something? And you get an achievement based on fixing a bridge and like i had my commissions set to leeway and i've never gotten that commission i'm crying bro i'm crying i'm gonna say it's pretty tilting would you say that this is more tilting than aaron yeah actually i would say it's more tilting than aaron Arrow, but at least a little bit less tilting than rolling chi chi thing is it's like the daily commissions is random you get the achievement based on chance which is crazy all right next one i don't really do the abyss right what's abyss abyss doesn't exist in my reality but there are a couple times i've done the abyss you know just just to play on stream challenge myself and this this who needs abyss when you could just swipe ain't no way
I would say on a bad day. Okay, next one. When this happens, I get so tilted. I use 50 primals to refresh resin. Wait, Choco, that's literally me. I'm gonna say it's up there, but it's definitely like not that up there, okay? Probably lower than Abyss. Yeah, higher than the Abyss, but lower than Dia Treatment. Okay, well, that is true. You could just wait eight minutes. Okay, yeah, okay, all right, I understand. It really is not the end of the world. I'm just being a little dramatic. All right. I felt so betrayed by that. In case if you guys don't know the backstory to the Signora treatment, okay? The Signora treatment is when they showcase a character like Signora in the main storyline, okay? And everybody's like, wow, she's so cool. Is she gonna be a playable character? And they just yeah. her. I felt so betrayed by that, bro. She nearly killed Venti and nearly killed us many times, but that's true. That's true, but you know. I'm so scared they would do this to Arlen Kino. I'm terrified they would do this to Arlen Kino. Like, if they do this to Arlen Kino, I will cry. I would say it's pretty tilting. Definitely more tilting than rolling Chi Chi, in my opinion. All right, guys. Last two here, and I, I don't know how you guys feel about this, okay? <laughs> How we feeling? Number one spot, okay. <laughs> All right, that's it's more severe than the mushroom. That was suck, bro. When you see 85 plus 50 and lose the 50 50, that's a combo. Damn, that sucks so bad. All right, last one. This will hurt, but it doesn't hurt as much as building 85 50. So I'm gonna say that it's like 159. It's like you could just open a chest and get one, get, get two primos. I feel like this would tilt me on a bad day. I agree. On a bad day, it would tilt me. Okay, maybe, maybe it'll be like here then. Yeah. Just swipe, that solves the problem. Oh my gosh. Is this the tier list that we have of the 21 things that's most tilted? All right, can we like finalize on this? Sumeru World Quest is too low. Well, what do you want to change about the Sumeru World Quest? Okay, let's do this, okay? Ito's right here, not tilting at all. All right, guys, thank you so much for doing this with me. And let me know if you agree with this uh, tier list of tilting things about Genshin Impact and let me know how you did. I'll leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone.